Hello everyone, this is Fat Johnny one I'd like to welcome you to episode 1 of eBay Buyer Protection Case Reviews. Alright, let's get started. So you can see here uh, from the case details page that there was a case opened uh, on a broken HP G74-349WM laptop. Um, it is obviously clearly advertised as broken. Uh, it's a laptop and it gives the model number and brand. Um, the buyer opened a case uh, stating that the item does not match the description, um, which is a common case, I guess. Um, the additional information that he provided was that the uh, laptop was advertised as HP G74. He was shipped to G71. Uh, he says that uh, he then uh, Googled it and acknowledged his mistake. Uh, he requested to have a refund, and uh, then he would call it even and the seller refused. Uh, he has left negative feedback for the seller. The buyer uh, is requesting a do not buy list. Not 100% what he, uh, sure on what he means by that, but I'm sure we'll find out. And uh, there is a transaction hold placed on the seller's funds uh, for the amount of the laptop. So let's go ahead and uh, look a little bit further into this uh, in the messages uh, that they've exchanged. And we'll also look at the feedback that was left and further case details. Okay, so from the first message you can see, uh, the buyer uh, went ahead and contacted the seller and notified him of the mistake. Uh, so I think we're going to have to dig a little further in these messages to find uh, where the disagreement came uh, to where they had to open the case. So let's go look for that. Okay, so in the second and third messages, I'm going to combine those here. Uh, you'll be able to see them both. Uh, you can see that the seller says uh, that he apologizes and that uh, he was sure that if the listing was correct, uh, but he is requesting a picture of the label uh, and he will work to get it resolved. Um, the correction was uh, that a picture was, uh, it looks like it might have been autocorrected uh, into uh, some other word, uh, so he sent that as a correction. Uh, so that is the message that uh, the seller initially responded to the buyer with. Now in message four and five, uh, there are two responses from the seller. Uh, he is asking for a phone number so he can uh, text message him uh, the buyer, or the, excuse me, the seller, the picture. And uh, in the next message, he requests uh, an email address. Uh, so we'll look at those uh, correspondences next here. Okay, so it looks like the seller has now responded back with his uh, phone number and email address. Um, and then there is another message after this where he responded again with his email address. Uh, I'll show you that one at the uh, end of this clip here. Um, and the seller states that I did Google it and it seems that G74 does not even exist, so that must have been my mistake. Uh, he states that the only G74 he could find was an ASUS laptop. Um, now the seller is questioning the buyer on uh, what he mistook it for due to the title, uh, as well as asking for his ideal resolution for the case. So it sounds like the seller is just um, looking to see what the buyer uh, wants him to do about it. Okay, so the buyer has responded back and said that he buys laptops for under $50. Uh, he doesn't pay much attention to the numbers, but he pays attention to the brand names. Uh, he asked him to refund half the money, and he would call it square. Um, so it sounds like he just buys them based on brand, um, which it is still an HP laptop. Um, but uh, he, he's asking for half his money back. Uh, at this point, I can't see how it would be fair, because they're stating that a G74 isn't even a laptop that exists. Uh, so he didn't short him out of extra features in the laptop or anything else uh, that he might have gotten from the laptop. It sounds like he you know, might have made a typo, uh, may have misread the label. Uh, let's investigate a little further and see if we can uh, prove uh, on the buyer's behalf if the seller has deliberately done that to uh, mistake him. So 
the seller responds back to the buyer and uh, says that if you don't pay attention to numbers but brand names, it is still an HP laptop, uh, which I can agree with it is. Um, if there was a G7 before, I would be happy to issue a refund or return. However, there is no G7 4, so although there was a mistake in the title, I cannot see any sense in issuing one due to the fact that it could not have been confused as a different model. Uh, so the seller is saying that if there was actually a G7 4 laptop, he would have given them the refund. Um, he said, I also provide pictures of the exact product for this reason. Uh, and the laptop was not grossly misdescribed or intentionally misdescribed either. So the seller has stated that he didn't do it intentionally uh, and that he would give the refund if there was you know, a, double, a, a big mistake between the models there. Um, I think it still requires further investigation though. So the buyer seems to immediately not be happy and uh, he responds, great, we will get negative for your screw up. Uh, so it sounds like the buyer does not want to work with the seller anymore and he just wants to uh, give him negative feedback and at this point there is no case open yet. Uh, Nobody has gone to the resolution center so let's go ahead and uh, see I believe uh, yes he did leave negative feedback so we'll go ahead and look at that feedback next and then the case opens after this uh, after the feedback was left so uh, we will go ahead and look at the case then. So now here's the feedback left um, from the buyer to the seller. Sounds like the buyer is a little bit upset and the seller is a little bit confused, which uh, a lot of times leads to a case opening. Um, it seems like the buyer is a little upset that he didn't get a G7 IV uh, and the seller is confused because the buyer said he doesn't care about the model numbers and that the G7 IV doesn't even exist um, and that you know he couldn't have sent him a G7 IV because that's not even anything that exists so um, it seems that th the buyer's mad and the seller is all confused uh, so let's investigate on uh, let's actually take a look at the listing and see what was listed okay so let's go ahead and look at this item page uh, it is listed with a picture of the actual item, it seems. Uh, broken G74-349WM laptop uh, is the title. Free shipping, uh, one-in bid was $42. Uh, accepted payment by PayPal. Uh, buyer uh, seller states that there is no returns or exchanges. Um, however, it was covered by buyer protection, obviously, uh, because it was paid through PayPal. Now, um, Okay, down in the first line of the listing, I see that he says it is a broken HP laptop. The model number is G71-349WM. Uh, so it appears that in the title, when the title was typed, uh, there was a typo. Now, uh, on this, it, it I'll come back to it afterwards, but uh, that may uh, give the seller a lot of credibility. Um, back his case. Um, and then the listing goes on to say uh, issues about the laptop. Um, you know, he doesn't know what's wrong with it. Uh, there's scratches, free sh priority shipping. And he says if you have any questions, ask or if you need more pictures. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and review the further messages sent within the case after the case was opened. Okay, so here's the seller's response to the buyer in the case initially. Uh, he said, I did admit my mistake. I refuse to provide a half a refund for the following reason. The buyer admitted he only buys, uh, buys based on buy on brand, not the model number, which really doesn't back him up because you still have to give what you advertise. But um, it, it is something that was said, so he, he's not putting uh, uh, incredible information in here. Um, he says the HP G74 does not exist, which I can agree with uh, to a certain extent that he didn't short him anything, um, and that will uh, be important uh, in, a, in a bit here once we get uh, to, the, to the end of this. Um, there's a typo error, uh, he states, in the G71, which is um, 
very credible and uh, very believable. Um, and he said, uh, that this means I did not short him by selling him a lower model computer, etc. Uh, the buyer has yet to show a picture of the label that he has requested. Uh, if I refund half, I would be at a loss. That doesn't matter at all. Um, you, know, you would be at a loss, but if he false advertises, it doesn't matter. Um, plus, I would still have a negative feedback now, which can be revised afterwards. Um, he says, I'm unsure of what the seller is requesting as far as do not buy list. Um, I have to agree with that. I, I, I'm confused as to what he's saying there, too. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, look at what the buyer responded to the seller after that. Okay, so the buyer's response is that a picture is forthcoming tomorrow. So let's go ahead and skip to the next day and see what the buyer uh, then states. Okay, so now the buyer says um, that my associate put it in the dumpster last night and it went to the landfill this morning. He closed the case and said he would rather keep the item. Now, uh, this is concerning because um, the, the buyer suddenly did not have the item and didn't send proof of it. So uh, even though he said he would say send proof the next morning. Um, so I, I, in this case, if it did go to buyer resolution, which fortunately it uh, didn't for this seller, um, the case was closed by the buyer, so there is no impact against him. Um, in this case, I would have ruled in favor of the seller, uh, and I say that because there is no G74 model, so and in the description it is typed as G71, so there must have been a typo, uh, an honest mistake, and that is what I feel uh, would have been appropriate, that the buyer would have had to keep the item and would not get any money back. Uh, and that the seller would still have to pay its final value fee, and it would just go on as if the case was never opened. Okay, so now that I've made my ruling, uh, the case is closed in my mind in favor of the buyer. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this was an honest typo, or do you think that the buyer uh, really did mean to buy a different laptop, and that he was deceived and... Uh, should receive his money back or at least a uh, partial refund. Uh, what do you think your uh, judgment would be in this case? And uh, I'm curious to hear. So go ahead and leave some comments or if you'd like go ahead and make a video response. And uh, you can also feel free to contact me via YouTube. Uh, I can send you a zip file of all of the screenshots of the messages and the cases and the item page found uh, in this video so you can either follow along or make your own video. And uh, if you're interested, just shoot me a message here on YouTube. So subscribe, and until next time, stay safe on eBay.